Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing something um, very uh, earthy today. Um, I'm wearing a um, like brine with some mushrooms and I'm wearing like a army green kind of flowy skirt. I've put my sun cream on already so that's why I'm a bit shiny. I haven't found a, um, a sunscreen that works very well underneath the skin. Uh, the one I'm wearing at the mo right, right now is the Sultan one from Boots. It's 50 SPF. I have done my eyebrows, like brushed them up. I'm just gonna fill them in. I want them to look kind of natural. Well, that's usually the theme, the way you want, but um, I want them to look like they're naturally like that you know not that i filled them in or anything and i mainly focus on the outside because as you can see my eyebrows are very sparse on the outside and this is the uh revolution faux brow um in blonde and the actual pencil has like a waxy consistency and it's just nice to fill fill it in and it's a good shade for my hair my hair is a dark blonde I am going to also try out a new product a couple of new products today actually um, I got this this I actually got for free this is the NYX brow glue because I got two things from NYX ages like a month ago I think <laughs> um, and I haven't had the chance to use it yet um, so I wanted it to be like going out like for a reason um, so this is the, the brow glue um, I got this it, uh, it was at Superdrug wasn't it yes it was Superdrug so this is what it looks like small spoolie So we'll see how this goes. Very tiny, uh, very short spoolie. So far, application's really good. I Hopefully it lasts the entire time. I am going to put on my eye base and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my eye base down. I've used the Herbal Decay Primer Potion like I always do. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my nails today, it's Garden of Eve Evil from the Mooncat Persephone, Seasons of Persephone collection. So um, I'm going to use a palette that I actually created with um from lethal cosmetics this is the color scheme that i picked it's very me really um i will put the names that of the ones that i use it down in the description i know for a fact that this group this gold is called pyrite and i think this one is called arboreal and i can't remember the rest of them <laughs> but i'm kind of wanting to go here for a little bit of um, just for definition on my eye, just to add some shadow and then I might go in here to kind of deepen up a bit if I want to but mainly this colour and these two colours and then obviously that one in the inner, in the inner corner um, I want, I don't really want to go to um much but i do want a little bit of color so yes so i'm going to go in with this super peel i would call it like a brown and a beige mixed together most of the yeah i all i made this eight mats and i think i have a metal i will put it in the i'll actually put a link in case you would also like to like some inspiration i'm gonna put it right on the outside here and then bring it 
up right in my hood. And then I also want to bring it down a little bit on my lower lash line. And I kind of want the outside to be very like heavy on this really pretty brown. Um, and then I'm going to work my way higher and higher up because I have hooded eyes. So the higher you go, the easier it will be for you to actually see. But I'm also like looking like straight ahead too because there's a mirror right behind you. That way you can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why I have two odd things, I got um some emerald um lip studs last month but the other lip emerald one it, i can't twist it off no matter what i do so it's very frustrating <laughs> i'm going to do the exact same thing on my other eye and just go in a little bit deeper if i want to um i might go a little bit deeper just right on my lower and upper lash line right in the corner like right here oh if i do that i will let you know so i've pretty much done both sides i want to go into this deeper brown i think this one's called Ar arboreal i know one of the bottom rows is called arboreal because i really like the name and I'm sure it's this color I'm using at the moment. And I'm just going to go as close to my top lash line and my lower lash line as possible. And right like in the outer part where my lashes would be. I'm not going to go all the way in. But I'm just going to almost oh wow my internet's turned back on haha <laughs> oh. oh apologies for that i was watching hell's kitchen and then my internet just turned internet's been acting really funny since yesterday and i just left my television on while i was doing this and it caused a lot of noise so yes and now i have lost my <laughs> Now I have lost the brush I was using. Yay! So before we were interrupted, I'm just gonna almost pat this brown on my lower lash line, not necessarily drag. Because I noticed whenever I'm trying to do something that's kind of in between subtle but noticeable, uh, I'm not doing no makeup makeup, but I'm wanting it to be a little bit subtle. I've noticed patting a lovely dark brown near my lashes, especially my lower lashes. It kind of makes it look like I'm wearing like mascara, like that my lower lashes are a little bit fuller. So I'm just going to do this on both sides. Really, really pretty formula, by the way. Both of these mats I've used so far are beautiful. I'm just using an angled brush. Just to get as close as possible. I'm not going um, out of that first burn that we put down. And of course, make sure they're connected. Up here is a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna... Okay. I am going to... Go in... With this peel. 
of yellowish green on my lid and then I'm going to put a shimmer on top. I want to see what it would look like on top. And I'm going to use, I got these brushes from Odin's Eye for free because I have um, a point system and this is just a small shader brush and I'm just going to that didn't half pick up but as I said I will put the names of all the colors that I've used down at the bottom this is incredibly pale and I'm going to relax my eye and then go over that As you can see, that fold. And my right eye is a little bit more hooded than my left eye. So it's a little bit heavier. This is quite peel, but it's very buildable. It's a little bit more yellow in the uh, on my eyelid than it is in the pan. But we're just going to put this, focus it mainly in the middle. And then I'm going to do the other side and then just do little tiny tweaks and then I'll be right back. I'm just doing tiny little tweaks now, just making sure everything's blended. Going back in with that barn again and just going right down that line and just making very... <laughs> I think my girl, my clingy girl knows I'm leaving soon. But not only that, she does this, Ebony does this whenever I do my makeup anyway. So... I'm going to take a fluffy brush um, and then I'm going to take a powder foundation that's the closest to my shade. This is Revolution Powder 1, which I don't really use that often because powder foundation, although it is very good for uh, oily skin, it can make you look kind of dry. And I'm just going to go right on top of... And around that brown just so that the edges are diffused and it looks nice and blended I've been working on my uh, actual technique with like blending and going over things again and kind of doing not full-on like new techniques but like techniques that are tiny little tweaks that way your makeup just looks a little bit more put together like this for instance and then whenever i'm gonna go back in with uh that dark brown again as well just to reinforce that that nice dark brown on my upper and lower lash line i've lost that freaking what is it with me and losing angled brushes i always lose angled brushes it's ridiculous found it found it but i'm tapping it and i'm just going back in just to add a little bit more definition you really smell <laughs> i can really smell that um sunscreen that I put on. I don't mind the smell of sunscreen actually. So as you can see it just adds a little bit of depth to the outer part of my eye but because well, without overtaking the eye too much I'm going to take my just my finger I want to see what this is like with a finger. I do, I prefer a brush just because it's more controlled, but shimmers apply better with a finger anyway. I'm going to take this colour right here. I'm just going to put that directly on top of that matte greenish kind of chartreuse kind of colour. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's beautiful. 
that is stunning. And I think the fact the yellowish, the yellow tone of that uh, under shadow that we did, under shadow, base shadow, is bringing out a little bit more of that lovely gold. That is such a pretty colour and it's, I don't need an awful lot of it either. Pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to apply a little bit more to my hood up here. Without doing what I just did, but alas. I will fix it. It's fine. I will fix it. This is why I don't like to apply with a finger. Because I make mistakes like that. But it's fine. That is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I am going to take... A little bit of, um... Baby wipes. Not baby wipes. Um, this, I'm just gonna fix. The mistake that I did, I'll be right back. Fixed it. I'm going to take that really pretty, that really pretty, this brush that we used the first time, and I'm just going to See how this applies with a brush, just so that I know. A lot of fallout actually, this, but well, it applies just as well actually. Cool. That is so pretty. Okay. We're going to then take this one. This one has a pretty, really pretty duo shift. It has like a pinkish gold yellow kind of color. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put this right in the inner part. Oh, that is stunning. I actually could have gotten away with doing that green all over my eye because this is a little bit paler than I thought it would be like the base is a little bit paler than I thought it was going to be but it's fine I live I'm going to take hmm let me see I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush I'm just gonna I was going to use that white as an inner corner but you know what I've changed my mind Yeah, the next time I do this look, I'm definitely going to go in farther with that matte chartreuse. But look at that, it's really pretty. I, I am going to take a little bit the back of that and I'm going to go back in with that shimmery, that, that darker green that we used. Just and just tap. Just so that that is not a complete stark line here we go okay i'm going to take let's see just that that really that first color that we used this shade here and 
just gonna I was gonna go in to the bottom with that chartreuse again just to reinforce but you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do this I really really like this color in particular because it really complements my eye color I have gray eyes so uh, more orangey uh, colors go well make my eyes look a bit more more blue toned so this is what the look looks like so far um, so that is the eyeshadow look pretty much done I might go in with that white again. The, again, I haven't went in with that white at all. I might go in with that white just so that I can see what it looks like. But I think my all my small, small, small brushes are getting uh, need washed. So I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna do my liner and my my mascara, and I will be right back to show you what I have done. So I'm going I am going to go in a little bit with my with a cheek do today. I'll show what I've done with my eyes in a second because I want to use a new product and then I'll show you what I've used for my eyeliners and stuff. But I'm padding and tapping. I'm not going too much on the blush today. But I am bringing it up and I'm using the hib hibiscus. I like this as a nice it's kind of like a warm hibiscus, like kind of corally orange kind of color. And I think it's quite nice. I have like eyelashes. <laughs> and I'm padding so that I don't accidentally move that um, our sun cream. And the, then I'm going to use this Sunset Makeup liquid highlighter in the shade number four and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand because it's very it's a lot more bright than you think so applying it straight from the bottle not only is it a little bit unhygienic but I'm gonna use this uh, highlighter brush from Odin's Eye and I'm just gonna lightly. I do also have a little bit of a highlight from my um, sun cream too, and I do have oily skin, so I am gonna go over this with a little bit of setting powder. But I'm just gonna. Just ever so slightly. But as you can see, but don't worry, I'm gonna go in with a uh, what is it? powder. Don't worry. So I've set my look with a little bit of powder and there we go. That's what it looks like. I think what I'm gonna do actually is go back over just to blend this out a bit more. Cause it's starting to annoy me. Just a bit more. There we go. Okay, for my uh, eyeliner, I used MAC, Cole, and Teddy on my upper lash line. And then I used, um, this is Revolution uh, Nude. I do like the Cole pencils from the Re Revolution. They're very, very good. I'm going to curl my lashes. Really, really curl them. 
I don't understand. I don't know if it's just me. The urge to blink is always strong whenever I try to do this. Oh, I kind of pinched my eye a little bit. Ow. <laughs> I'm going to use, this is um, their Charged Mascara by Aletha Cosmetics in the shade Coil. This is brown. Never used a brown mascara before. This is what it looks like. The only one that I have... Oh, I like this. The only uh, uh, mascara that I've tried from Lethal I didn't really like is... The Charged one, I think is what it's called, from the Mellow Grove. The like pinkish like raspberry one. But I did not... Um... curl my lashes prior I like this though it's beautiful I don't tend to add multiple layers of mascara but so it looks like I like it it's pigmented beautiful 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 and then I will show you what I've done with my lips and the look will be done. So for uh, lip liner, I used ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Brink. One of my favorite lip pencils ever. It's just a lovely color. And I'm going to try, this is the NYX Slick Click Fat Oil in the shade No Filter Needed. So you click it. And I kind of moves up Ooh. that's pretty very pigmented for a uh oil bitch i like this a lot actually it smells good So that's the look. I hope you like it. I actually really, really like it. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job. I want you to just do my hair. Obviously, I'm not going to go out like this. I'm planning on um, either putting up in a ponytail or either putting up in a ponytail or just putting a hat on. <laughs> One of the two. It depends. I am done. Hope you like this tutorial. Hope it wasn't too long. And yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.